An incredible find has sent the scientific community into a frenzy. In a sample of the asteroid Ryugu, brought to Earth by the Japanese spacecraft Hayabusa 2, researchers have discovered something completely unexpected, life. However, the truth behind it is even more fascinating than you might initially think. So make sure to stick around until the end. Welcome, everyone. Hey guys, before we start, a very quick request. To get even more people excited about science topics, subscribe to the channel, give it a like, and leave a comment so that the algorithm shows this video to even more people. Thank you, and now back to the video. The Japanese space probe Hayabusa 2 launched in December 2014. It was supposed to fly to the asteroid Ryugu, take samples from its surface, and bring them back to Earth. After a journey of almost four years, the probe reached its destination in June. 2018 its destination? For a year, it studied the approximately 900 meter wide asteroid before it set to work collecting samples from the surface. In December 2020, the precious cargo reached Earth safely. The Hayabusa 2 mission was truly amazing. So let's go into a bit more detail about that. The probe not only made the first successful landing on an asteroid, but also landed small rovers on Ryugu's surface, whose structure and composition was examined. Particularly spectacular was the use of an impactor to create an artificial crater to expose material from deeper layers, samples that had never been exposed to cosmic radiation. Ryugu itself was chosen because of its composition as a C-type asteroid, as it is rich in carbon and possibly in organic molecules that could provide clues to the early days of the solar system and the origins of life on Earth. With a diameter of about 900 meters and its unusual shape, Ryugu is one of the most interesting known objects of its kind. Some say its shape resembles a spinning diamond. I think it looks more like a grilled potato that accidentally fell into the coals. Let me know what the shape of Ryugu reminds you of. I'd be really interested to see what your imagination comes up with. And now comes the part of the story that took even seasoned scientists by surprise. A team of researchers from Imperial College London, led by Matthew Genge, examined one of the samples from Ryugu and made an absolutely incredible discovery. They found microorganisms on an asteroid sample. And that would be absolutely amazing because maybe we have finally found the first evidence of extraterrestrial life. So what about the microbes? Matthew Genge from Imperial College explains, we found microorganisms in a sample brought back from the asteroid. They appeared on the rock and spread over time before finally dying. The change in the number of microorganisms confirmed that they were living microbes. Living microbes in a sample from space? So if I were a malicious alien species, that would be exactly my tactic to wipe out humanity. So what exactly happened here? The researchers had initially examined the sample with a high-resolution X-ray CT scanner and found no signs of life. But after the sample was exposed to the Earth's atmosphere, something amazing happened. Within a week, 11 microbes had settled on its surface. Another week later, their population had already grown to 147. So the little critters had only just settled on the sample here on Earth. Oh man, so no alien life once again. That might sound disappointing at first. No alien life, just a few earthly bacteria that have settled on the piece of space rock. But if you think about it, this discovery is totally fascinating. It shows us how incredibly adaptable and resilient life on our beautiful planet is. This also sheds an interesting light on past and future space missions. What does this mean for the search for life in the universe? The fact that terrestrial microbes can survive so easily on material from another celestial body is a bit of a double-edged sword. On the one hand, it shows that life can exist under very different conditions. On the other hand, however, it also complicates the search for extraterrestrial life. After all, how can we be sure in the future that signs of life found on samples from space do not simply come from Earth? Matthew Genge therefore warns the fact that terrestrial microbes are the best colonizers on Earth means that we can never completely rule out Earth contamination. Most of the time, contamination is not a problem as long as you know its source. The problem arises when scientists try to use the pristine state of a sample as evidence that certain features are of extraterrestrial origin. Because these little survival artists could not only survive there, but even reproduce. And speaking of which, that wasn't the first encounter between earthly life and asteroid material. NASA and other space agencies go to great lengths to sterilize their spacecraft and rovers before sending them into space. They want to avoid at all costs that terrestrial microorganisms could inadvertently wreak havoc on other celestial bodies. And as we now see, this caution is absolutely justified. And think about what implications that would have. If that were really the case, then maybe all earthly life could come from space. This theory is called panspermia. And it would at least answer the question of how life originally started on our beautiful Earth. 
we would basically all be aliens. Cool. But the Rugu samples have a lot more to tell us. For many years, scientists have been studying meteorites found on Earth. And here too, there have been repeated reports of organic materials and even supposed fossils of microorganisms. The most famous case is probably the Martian meteorite ALH84001, in which structures resembling fossilized bacteria were found as early as 1996. The debate about whether these are really traces of extraterrestrial life in the meteorites continues to this day. One thing is for sure. The story of the Ryugu microbes shows us once again how important it is to proceed very carefully in the search for extraterrestrial life. The Japanese spacecraft did not bring just any piece of space rock back to Earth. Ryugu is, as we already know, a C-type asteroid, which is one of the oldest and most pristine objects in the solar system. Its composition has hardly changed since the solar system was formed 4.6 billion years ago. The samples are therefore a time capsule that gives us insights into the early days of our cosmic home, and that's what makes the discovery of the microbes so significant significant, because it shows us that even this ancient material, which has spent billions of years in the cold vacuum of space, can serve as a habitat for organisms. This could have important implications for theories about the origin of life on Earth. Many scientists suspect that, while life did not come directly from space in a panspermia-like manner, some of the basic building blocks of life were brought to Earth by asteroids and comets. The fact that terrestrial microbes thrive so well on asteroid material supports this hypothesis. And what does this mean for future space missions? NASA has since ramped up its efforts in terms of asteroid sample return missions. The OSIRIS-REx mission has collected samples from the asteroid Bennu and brought them to Earth. And Initial analyses have already been carried out, but unfortunately no life has been found yet. Will we be able to observe colonization by terrestrial microbes here as well? Matthew Genge and his team are excited. The team is continuing to study samples from Ryugu and Bennu, hopefully next time without terrestrial bacteria colonizing these materials. We must always keep the possibility of terrestrial contamination in the back of our minds, and by the way, also outside the Earth. If we are to find alien microbes on Mars or the icy moons of the gas planets, then we must check twice and three times to make sure that we have not dragged these life forms there ourselves. Just imagine if we accidentally contaminated Mars. How clumsy can you be? I'll definitely keep you updated on all the other discoveries from the samples of the asteroid Ryugu. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel now and help me fill it up. And speaking of extraordinary discoveries, they also exist here on Earth. Scientists are discovering gigantic, mysterious structures everywhere below the Earth's surface. What is going on? The original recordings and the explanation can be found in the video shown. Definitely click on the top right and check it out. In the video at the bottom right, there is also another exciting topic related to space travel, science, or our planet. Every click really helps the channel a lot. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, guys.